Hey folks, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. Here, in Real Gum Tower, fighting some uh, actual Coliseum shenanigans. It must be so uncomfortable to walk like that, by the way. And this is still the final stretch of the game. I'm still sitting here. Same setting as last time, said same setting as hopefully the next time. Anywho, I believe I said before that two of the three of these trainers, uh, two of the three of the Pokemon for this trainer are also weak to fighting. And uh, I was not lying when I said that. Houndoom there, although you don't really want to use a fighting move on it because it might die. And uh, I believe my cargo is the third Pokemon. Let's get a Leaf out of there. Not 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 really good uh, position for Leaf. And unfortunately, I can't use uh, Rock Slide or uh, Earthquake effectively because again, Houndoom might die. Take care of Torkoal next turn. Actually, uh, let's see how much it's done. Nah, very little. I think I'm gonna put uh, Houndoom to sleep uh, if I can. I want to get sleep as soon as possible because uh, those howls could be potentially disastrous. Houndoom's another cool Pokemon that I would like to have earlier. Fortunately, their remedy didn't max D by having. Uh, Hound hour available relatively early. And there's Mr. Mag Cargo. How you doing? Alright, don't be terrible, don't be terrible. Alright, that's not too terrible. You gotta be careful, uh, in this, because, as I've said many times before, I'm sure, Shadow Rush, Recoil, making snagging, pain in the butt, here even more so, because you have to start all over. Bye, my cargo. And not really comfortably doing anything with Ebony here, actually. I could go for an Ultra Ball and see if I can get insanely lucky. But, uh, really, just a small amount of health left, uh, off in the sleep. That's not gonna be enough. Yeah, that's, that's, that's no surprise whatsoever. And now I'm very uncomfortable, uh, whittling it down any further. Let's get Leif in here. Hopefully I won't use a fire move. Hopefully I won't wake up and use a fire move. Gotcha! Three out of four. Three out of six. Three out of shut up. I'm trying to make this sound better for myself. I don't think you're... If they fired everyone who lost to me, they would be severely understaffed. And here's our fourth and final Coliseum trainer. Mr. Cypher P on here. You can see the game developers are getting very crazy with the uh, camera angles here. But they love this one right here. It's done! You could very easily be stand and make much more sense. Anyway, here we have a Shadow Tropius, which I would have used the heck out of if it were available earlier. Like, that would be like. That's it. You probably didn't hear that. That's it. That's what I want. Sharpies is so awesome. Anyway, 
Uh, priority number one, get rid of that Kraid Lily. Uh, believe I can sort of safely Earthquake. Leif's probably gonna take it alright. And I'll be healed after this match, so... Not too concerned. Not very effective, but, uh, not too surprised. Not, not too broken up. Paralysis, very nice. Yeah, life took that real well. And you are going to die. I suppose I can use uh, also look at Tropius's shadow. You'll, you'll get, better, get a better shot later, I know. But why did you use it on Emity? You had a super effective against life. Okay, look at, look at Tropius's shadow. It's behind the box right now, but look at that. Look at that. It's so dumb looking. And then, and then, and I'll just raise away if it comes in. Except nothing will come in because I'm stupid. Alright, great. Lily, you are out of the way. I'm aware I say Crate Lily instead of Cradley. Cradley just kind of rolls off the tongue better, although they both sound pretty retarded. Uh, life you may want to... Oh god, I'm not really sure who I want to evacuate. I mean, flying move, fly, clearly on Vile Plume. Useful, but... Uh, life you're lower on health, so why don't I get you out? Good. Good, good, good. That was the best rock slide I've ever seen. And uh, I do say that pretty lightly. Let's see. Look, look. We'll do Diddly to uh, Tropius, so. I can just use that on that one. And everybody is happy, except Cypher. Bye-bye. Hello, awesomest fainting animation ever. Oh, he still has one more Pokemon. Guess I can use uh, Fly on that one. And what? Okay, alright, fine. Cook should still do diddly. Let's use fly on Cacturn. People were telling me about the glorious wonders of Cacturn and its ability to survive sandstorms. And, uh, hooray for Cacturn, I guess. Oh, you, you, you. Alright, once Cacturn's faints, I'll use Sing, and we'll be able to use Synthesis, and, uh, I'll be able to be much happier with my life. Give it to Cacturn, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome design. Don't fly, okay, good. There's Magical Leaf, similar to Rage Leaf, and that attacks both opponents. Pierce so from the damage. Okay, apparently not, I guess Tropius just kinda sucks. And I'm actually concerned about criticals, believe it or not. Because I've, I've had crazy things happen. I'd, I'd like to, uh... If I'm going to do something more damage-wise, I'm going to switch over to Leif and use Razor Leaf. Because even a critical Razor Leaf is going to do very little.
just being a very little. I think I can afford one more, but I'm skeptical and therefore I will not risk it. Because I've already come this far. That's plenty low enough, I say. Gotcha. Whew, that's our fourth. Oh, we're not out of the woods yet. The hard snag come now.